G'day guys, this is Elfie for IDSX Live with Nathan King as my special guest. How are we doing? I'm very well. How are you doing, way? man? I'm very well, man. Just before we kick into it, we're just on a beautiful boat, so you're going to have to excuse the the, uh, the bit of shaky. I hope I don't drop this. I'll be back in a second, mate. I'm just going to say hello. Say hi, guys. Say hi to the Facebook world. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> hello. hello. Awesome. Alrighty. So I just wanted, I just had an amazing, still having an amazing conversation with Nathan. So I thought we'd, we'd keep that going. And, uh, and we picked the topic of how to get to compassion. So you brought up a really cool thing before, man. If you want to just like recap that, we are talking about, so we, we sort of recap what we were talking about. Uh, we were talking about you sort of manifest a challenge um, that comes to you. And um, if you're judging someone, let's just say, who may have not, got the psychological development that you might have mm. why did you attract this in the first place and if we were to go on the influence of trying to get yourself back to compassion trying to get to that vibration of love and mm. acceptance of all how do you do that mm. and I was saying that using humility as a rudder um, in your own like self-awareness as you're having these conversations and I think that if you were to use a magician archetype, one that allows you to be like a spider web through dimensions, so to speak. Yeah. If you were to come from that vibration, you'd scare people. But if you can, humi- you know, if you can have that humility to, to just have that compassion, you actually create influence. Mm. And, and it doesn't come by trying to change people. It comes from you acknowledging humility first, and then compassion, and then influence. Yes, yes, yes. So starting from that space of anger, then humility. And, and using that, rather than trying to just come in and just like change them and say, hey, this is how you need to be, yeah. coming in with that sense of humility so that they can actually feel relaxed and so that they can feel safe, right? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Welcome to the cast one. Oh, the compassive. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> New word. So, um, yeah, great. So let's, let's just keep um, chat, chatting, man. By the way, Juan, and anyone else coming on board, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask them. This is a bit of an Ask Me Anything as well on a beautiful Saturday afternoon. Beautiful. We're meant to be going for a, sw- for a uh, swim, a sail. Yeah. <laughs> Might end up going for a swim with my, with my talents at sailing, but we'll see. Yeah. Um, no wind, though, unfortunately. Yeah. So we're just sitting here floating. Oh, yes, we have an Infinity Wars fan. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Juan. It's great. Thank you for your comments, man. Um, yes. So, okay, we did lose everyone. There we go. We're back. So, um, how would you say is that, like when you when you go through that process? What's it What's it feel like for you? Well, I, is I there think, to say I think that? the the precursor of it is that mm. um, if you are trying to manifest something, mm-hmm. you will set a desire, and that desire I always find is something that's above me. I don't normally have desires that are something that I haven't achieved yet, so mm-hmm, to speak. Mm-hmm. And as I do try to um, uh, manifest what I want, I find that I attract those challenges um, that turn up in the form of a conversation that does stir this anger. Mm. And I find that this anger is kind of like this emotional feeling, this charge that is literally trying to give me the lesson. And so a friend of mine, Guru Singh, would say, uh, he'd use the metaphor of... Um, are we still working? Yeah, we're still going. We're still okay. going. Yep. Uh, he'd use the metaphor of there's no one else here. Yep. And that used to scare the pants off me. There's no one else here. Okay, if there's no one else here, I'm talking to no one here. Mm-hmm. And, but I, whether you want to believe that or you want to believe that, it doesn't matter. If you use it as a tool, if there's no one else here and you're getting this charge, why are you getting this charge? And I think if you link it back to your desires, it's trying to change you in your character so that you can manifest what it is that you want. And if you look at these people as a beautiful gift of a map of mm. how, to, how to get your character to the level of vibration so that you can manifest what you want, whilst you give compassion to them in that moment, mm. allows you to give the lesson to them and to yourself at the same time. And instead of being understood, you just have to understand. And if you understand, you don't need to be understood so you can give love. Genius. Wow, that, oh. was, that was a wow. Sauce, sauce just <laughs> pouring out there, man. <laughs> it's just the beer. <laughs> <laughs> I don't got nothing to say right on that one. I, normally I'm like, yep, yeah, let's, just, let's just take that further. But I'm just going to sit with that for a little bit. Let that juice in there for a bit for you guys. Tom, yeah. welcome to the cast. Hey, Simon, how we doing, mate? Just say how you guys are going today. Any questions you have for this, this 
guru. I'm going to call oh, you a I guru, know. man. Like a flannel wearing, flannel wearing drinking. guru. Like I was talking before. Like um, you know, it's just 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 your demeanor and your your blokey blokeness and your manly manliness, and you, you've got all this stuff underneath it. This is brilliant, and it, and obviously soaks through you in, in your everyday character as well. So I want to acknowledge I, you for I, that. I think I think everybody has it in them. I mean, it's, yeah, we all have the capacity for it. We have the capacity for it. Well, that's a good yeah, point. Do yeah. you choose? I mean, we were saying before, mm. you know, this is the physical world. There is no escaping it, you know, without necking yourself, whatever. But, yeah. you know, if you choose to be in this moment and you choose to learn those lessons, it can really open up a whole new dimension of reality and creativity and life. And mm. life is the teacher and no one else. Yeah. And so just to chunk it up a bit for, for Juan is saying, what are you guys talking about? How would you describe <laughs> it on a simpler, on a more uh, simpler level? Uh, which part? <laughs> <laughs> All of it. He's, he's, okay. We're talking how, about life. How, yeah. how do you get what you want? Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. How do you get what you want out of life? And then it, it begins with actually serving. It begins with, with really getting into another's world and, and just recognizing that they are, they are us and they have very similar, if not the same, wants at, at our core. We all want to be loved, respected and liked um, and we all want to get what we want. Mm. But how do we how do we meet that person and actually come and meet them in in a way that uh, that gives everyone what they need? There's a beautiful thing I, I've been doing a lot of looking into. How do we, um, you know, how do you resolve conflict? How especially in partnerships where you've both got the same wants, how do you do that without compromising? And one of the best ways that I've discovered to do that is rather than look at the situation, look at what the underlying need is under both of those things, and see if you can create a new solution that looks after everybody. Yeah, you know? and I think that's what I was saying before. Like, instead of sitting in a situation saying, I need to be understood, try to see, like, use the, uh, the uh, analogy of there's no one else here. And if there's no one else here, mm. then this is a lesson for you. Mm -hmm. And if you can sit in that and go, what is this lesson? And if you know the outcome's compassion, mm -hmm. then you can sit in that compassion and then... So just pause that for a sec. So to, to, to be as if no one else is there, right? So obviously you're, you're being triggered in a situation. You've got like this thing that's coming up. How do you then go, well, let's pretend this person's not here yep. and then see what's there? That takes is it, away is it your as if, charge. It, I think what I'm hearing there is like everything they're saying is what you're actually saying. So take it on as your own. Well, or it's like be aware what's the of what's coming process? up for you. So if there's, like, uh -huh. there's this anger thing coming up, you're like, wow, look at that. Uh -huh. If the metaphor of there was no one else here yep. and that this was good and that this was for you to learn something, mm -hmm. I know that can be hard to sort of gather, but mm -hmm. life isn't easy, right? So if that was to teach you a lesson and then you allow these triggers to come up and if you allow the triggers without expressing them and to sit and mm. let them be understood, I find that if I really listen, I understand them. If I understand them, it takes away my need to be understood. Yes. And then I don't need to express it. I can just give them. And then you still manage to get what you're, I got what what you're I, after. I needed. Because what you're after is what they wanted anyway. Yeah. Now, look, I can probably do that 20% of the time. 80% of the time, I'm going to lose my mind, get really angry, and tell them to piss off. Yeah, but Simon's got a very good point here. Thank you, Simon. You're saying, you guys mean we should love and serve other people and put their wants above our own. No. Would you say that's the case? No. 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 I'm, I'm saying what their projection is, is their ownership. What mm -hmm. our projection is, is our ownership. I'm saying, don't get them confused. Don't mm -hmm. get into an argument and lose energy when you don't need to. Gain what you need out of it and offer uh, the opportunity for them to get out of it, but they have to choose to want that. If they don't choose to take that, then that's their business and you don't judge them for it and you don't um, lose energy over it. This whole game is about not losing energy. Uh, and not even not even expending energy on controlling, right? Yeah. It's like, Let here it I am, here's what I want, here you are, here's what you want. Actually get what it is that they want and yeah. then see if there's something there between you that can be met. Yeah. And if there's no way to meet it, there's no way to meet it, you guys move on, there's no frustration because yeah. there's no attachment to having it happen the way that you want to have it happen. That's we recognise that we're both sovereign in our own right yeah. and... You know, Whether they, they recognize that or not. Exactly, because it's not dependent on them at all. Give them, well, give them that, though. Of course, offer it to them as a thing for them to realize their own sovereignty and, and their own capacity to, to create something with you, if possible. But if it's not, then it's not going to happen, and that's okay. And you can just we can just be with ourselves and our own wants hmm. and be with them and their wants, having gotten them completely, 
and then we can complete and move on because there's nothing that's left unsaid. There's nothing that's left ununderstood. Yes. And right? you, don't, you don't have any charge left. All you have is compassion for them because you just all of a sudden got given a gift. Yeah. What, that, what the universe was trying to teach you in that one little moment. And like I was saying to you before, the Dalai Lama says you think you're spiritual, you think you're enlightened, go and hang out with your parents, you know? Yeah. And that's when you're going to get a lot of charge, a lot of all this stuff. But if you can just sit and try to see it from their perspective and then try to send love to them, you'll find that you will cancel out that pattern, that wave. If they're coming from a fear-based security and you're coming from a compassion, or if you're both coming from security, you're gonna boom. So you're in control all the time of whether you're going to co-create with that frustration or whether you're going to equal it out and then lead it. That's your decision. Brilliant, I love it. That's a fantastic note to end on. Look at these beautiful, speaking of waves, yeah. look at these beautiful waves that have come out here. So we're gonna we're gonna say goodbye for now, and uh, we can walk along here. We're good. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, thanks, mate, for joining in. Thanks for my drink. Take a good one, boys. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Love you.